Good evening. Tonight, the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Arsenal up against Inter. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me to start the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. Gets the nod in goal. Socrati starts with David Luis in central defence. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Lucas Torreira in the middle of midfield. And the main forward here is Alex Lacazette. Well, just like at the start of every Arsenal season, Lee, your old club, the players, the fans, shimmering with hope. Well, yeah, shimmering with hope, but they've really got to step up to the plate. Some poor results over the last few years. The fans expect a little bit more. There's no real reason, I can't put my finger on, why they haven't done better in this competition. Inter's lineup is as follows. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely, that takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes, the weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Well, oh, they've lost possession of the ball. Lucas Torreira now. Space on the flank. And options in the centre. Excellent ball towards the front post. And you need your defender to take charge. Arsenal finding avenues to attack from. Now, what can they do from here? Somehow kept out by Handanovic. in the centre Xhaka and played in Barella has it he brings so many different skills to the table doesn't he Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang well pace just look how fast he runs absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon Hector Bellerin Nicola Pepe. Now Bellerin. Arsenal succeeding in getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. And Politano with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. Lukaku. Can they get in behind them? Good tackle. Can they hit on the break? They've regained possession. And they do like to press whenever they can. Nice switch of play. Now Brozovic. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. 
great challenge. He got nothing but ball. An Arsenal game in the Champions League. And, Lee, you know about these matches better than just about anyone. Do you think the feeling is still the same amongst the fans ahead of these games? Yeah, I hope so. It's an exciting time, Champions League. Ceballos! You can usually rely on Sami Handanovic. There was the evidence. Well, he's got a presence about him. Look how big he looks in the goal. Well, he's disappointed with the fact they haven't taken the lead, but he'd be pleased with the way they're playing. He's driven in the corner. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Brozovic. Boritano, Barella has it, a oh, tremendous vision, Alexis Sanchez, and they'll have to throw it back in play. Skriniar, Brozovic, Lukaku, and the ball's been given away by Lukaku, and the counter looks on here, options available. to Bellerin. Will he play it in? That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Corner kick played in. Will it be? An attempt like that, never likely to trouble the keeper. No, he's got his positioning right, but it was a poor shot in the end. Arsenal have given it away. It's with Danny Ceballos. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And now Ceballos. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Ceballos! Simple save for the keeper. Well, he had to pick the fly to the ball up. That was all. Got behind it. Good save. Barella has it. Sanchez. They might be able to get in now. Martinez. And he's broken free. And a goal it is against the run of what we've seen so far well totally against the run of play but they won't mind now they've got to defend it well here it is you have to say it's against the run of play but they've soaked up the pressure and gone and got himself a very important goal a chance to revisit the goal Well, I think the coach can feel the game slipping away here. He's showing his frustration on the sidelines. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Danny Ceballos. Lucas Torreira now. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Now Bellerin. He could pick out a teammate. Torreira. Xhaka. And now Ceballos. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Ceballos. Slipshot passing. Ceballos. Well, Arsenal have lost the ball here. Inter have struggled a little bit with possession, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. Ball lost by Inter. 
Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Lacazette! Great save by Handanovic. They've regained possession. It was indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Alexis Sanchez. Inter have given away possession. Granit Xhaka. Nicola Pepe. Dani Ceballos. David Luiz. Lucas Torreira now. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Given away by Inter. Untidy in possession. Sanchez. Sensi has it. An important interception. with it well, when you sit off like this you invite pressure Arsenal succeeding in getting the ball forward what can they do from this position Pierre Emerick Aubameyang Aubameyang Kolasinac Kolasinac and that's an important intervention He's played it out over the touchline, so a throw-in to restart things. Jacka, plenty of players waiting in the middle. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. And he's fired over the corner. Well, we've all been there. I don't know if you have, Derek, but I have. And he's missed, and it's a terrible, terrible chance to let go. There's a good reason why I haven't been there, Lee. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Torreira, Nicola Pepe. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Nicola Pepe. That's a lovely ball. Xhaka, Torreira, Kolasinac, well that is how to run at defenders, Torreira, now Lacazette, and Handanovic for the same, superb, that's his job, look at the positioning, brilliant.
He's driven in the corner. The idea was to get... Oh, that is a goal from long range. He won't soon forget. Absolutely right out of the top drawer. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. For the Arsenal, number 10, Mesut Ozil. They've given it away. Moving forward effectively. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Jacker with it. This is Ozil. Now with Aubameyang. And Lacazette. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Played into the centre of the box. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Throw in is given. Vecino. Brozovic. Sanchez. Lukaku. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek. Vecino and the emphasis is on creativity Brozovic can they take the lead here reflex action par excellence from Ben Lado. So the corner played into the box, just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Bellerin has lost out. Not too long left now for Arsenal. The fans are desperate for a winner. It should be! And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, look at the stats. Very, very close. What do you do? Do you keep what you've got or do you go for the spoils? Nicola Pepe. Romelu Lukaku now. Politano. Martinez. He could pick out a teammate. Martinez. Good looking sequence. Politano. Martinez. And the cross into the middle. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Giving the ball away. This is Ozil. Now Kolasinac. Crossing opportunity. Lacazette. Torreira. Aubameyang. And he got to it fairly easily. Pick 
Sergio Bellerin. Torreira. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Lost it. Now Brozovic. Martinez. And only two minutes remaining here. Number 10. And very deftly cut out. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Lukaku. And that's an important intervention. The fourth official is and three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Three minutes. Now Kolasinac. Hector Bellerin. Nelson. Jaka. Lacazette. Now Bellerin. Ozil. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated. Arsenal finding avenues to attack. be able to get in now Martinez and he's broken free and a goal it is against the run of what we've seen so far well totally against the run of play but they won't mind now they've got to defend it he's driven in the corner the idea was to get the oh that is a goal from long range he won't soon forget, absolutely right out of the top drawer.